Let's create a histogram using Excel. I'm going to show you two different ways. One is going to use the raw data that I've got over there on the left side. It represents college credits. And the second way is going to use the class boundaries and frequencies that I've got from my grouped frequency distribution. Let's do the one with raw data first. I'm going to select my raw data by clicking on the first data value. Then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my data. And then I'm going to shift click and select the last one. So shift followed by click. And I've got my data selected. Let me go back up and I'm going to go to my insert menu and I'm going to choose insert a chart and the charts are here in the middle. Rather than doing a recommended chart, I'm going to go over here to this middle selection, which are my statistical charts. I'm going to click on this one and choose the histogram. Now it automatically gave me a histogram that has four different classes, which does match my grouped frequency distribution but it's got the wrong class width. Let's go ahead and start by changing the class width to the 62. That's the one that I computed by doing max minus min divided by the number of classes rounded up. I'm going to double click on the values along my horizontal axis to get my axis options. Underneath my axis options, you'll notice that it's set right now to automatic. I'm going to click on bin width. It's at 66, which is close, but I want that bin width to be a 62. I'm going to use the overflow bin and underflow bin to set my minimum and maximum values. We're going to grab those from the class boundaries, but you're going to see that Excel rounds it for us. So for the overflow, I want that maximum class boundary boundary, which is 300.5. And for the underflow, this is going to be my minimum value. Let me check that. And I want this one to be at 52.5. The other things that I want to change here are my titles. Starting with the chart title, I'm going to double click on the chart title. I'm going to select those letters and I'm going to change it to histogram of college credits, which I should probably capitalize, but I also want to add a horizontal and vertical axis titles. To do that, I'm going to click on my chart and I get a plus sign over here in the upper right. I'm going to click that plus sign and it gives me all these different elements. I'm going to click on axis titles. Let's double click on the horizontal axis title and change this one to college credits. So I'm double clicking and then I'm going to select that. This is college credits. And I'm going to do the same with my vertical axis. Changing that vertical axis to frequency. The very last thing that you might want to add are some data labels. I am again clicked on my chart area. I'm going to click that plus sign and I'm going to go ahead and add the data labels, which gives me the frequencies for each of those classes. Now I can also do this using, I'm going to just click and drag this out of the way here. I can also do this using my class boundaries and frequencies. Let's go ahead and do that next. I actually prefer the second method because it's a little more customizable. I'm going to start by clicking, holding, and dragging through my class boundaries and my frequencies. You'll notice that I've got the labels that I want for each of those four classes in my class boundaries. I'm going to again insert a chart. So I'm going to go insert and over here to charts. This time I just want a bar graph. So I'm going to select a bar graph. And it gives me the four bars, but I really want these bars to be touching. So I've got to go ahead and do a couple of things. I'm going to double click on any of these bars. And once I do that, it's going to open over here, format data series, click on the bars. And I want to change that gap width to zero. The next thing that I want to do is add some color and some borders. So I'm going to click on the paint bucket here and the fill. It's fine at blue, but you can definitely change it to a different color. And let's go ahead and change it to, let's say, green. I also want to add a border. So let's go ahead and click the arrow next to border. And I do want to add a solid line. And I want to make sure the solid line is not the same as my bar color. And it isn't, but I'm going to go ahead and change that one to black. Okay, so I've got everything that I want here now in terms of my bar. It looks like a really nice histogram. Now I can go ahead and change little things like I had done in the other, including my chart title. I'm going to add data labels and access titles as well. 
So I've got two great looking histograms. You can click and drag this wherever you want it to be. You can also grab one of those corners to expand or shrink the size. Next, we're gonna do a frequency polygon. Take a look at my video here. Thanks so much for watching.